Hello everyone, this is Reggie the Appliance uh, Repair Nerd and with another video, this is a quick video um, basically showing you um, a symptom and a cure. So the symptom here was this refrigerator, it's a Kenmore refrigerator, also uh, Whirlpool makes the same type of, uh, refrigerator, excuse me, makes the same type of refrigerator. So if you have a setup that looks like this and the issue with this refrigerator was the refrigerator section was icing over. Everything was just getting iced. Uh, the compressor stayed on, never turned off. So uh, the issue was basically the thermostat. Did all my different checks. Um, so this is the, the temperature controller here. Uh, and even when it's set all the way to one, it would just still freeze up. So, number one, first thing you check is I check the temperature inside the freezer, which was getting down to like a negative five degrees. Uh, so it was getting way, 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 way too cold. Um, sometimes that air dampener, which is here, uh, will switch off and on, it'll come open and close. So if that is not, if that's sticking, then yes, that can cause this section to freeze up also. So, uh, but that was okay. So what I did was, uh, Re, uh, I took this off, took these off, and put new ones on. So here's the old one. I basically gutted the whole thing, but this was the controller. This was the part that was the issue. So I have a link on my page that will show you how to order this part. Um, or if you come, or if you have uh, a used shop, your repair guy. I'm sure you got some of these laying around in another refrigerator. So I just replaced the whole unit, but it was this that needed replacing. So I'm gonna put a part number and a link at the bottom of my page so again if you have a refrigerator that the refrigerator section freezes up um, it's most likely your thermostat um, I would say 80% chance of the thermostat the other 20 is probably that dampener back there stuck in the open position but what gave it away was the fact that the compressor in the back of the refrigerator just kept running so it should run for like five or six hours and then turn off and go into defrost mode um, so it wasn't doing that. So I replaced this and now it's up and running. Any questions, feel free to comment below. Thanks.